Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse for a Sparkles Safety Spot. I am your host, Dana Hilton, along with my good friend, Molly, the fire safety dog. Molly, can you say good morning to everybody? Can you say good morning? Say hi. Can you talk? Say good morning. Molly. <laughs> uh, Molly says, Good morning, boys and girls. We're so glad that you have joined us. Whether you are watching the live stream right now or the recorded version later on, we're really glad that you are here. Well, Molly and I have been gone the past four and a half weeks. We went to Nebraska. We were sharing fire safety in, in Nebraska, and we just got back a couple of nights ago. Now, what is so funny about that, boys and girls, is that it seems like forever when we left to go there. We had so much fun. We, what did we do, Molly? We did a, um, we went to the Home Depot and did an event at the Home Depot in Lincoln. We visited several preschools. Oh, we did a presentation at the museum, at the Ch Children's Museum of Central Nebraska in Hastings, Nebraska. Molly also got to visit the birth site of uh, President Ford and so many other fun things. Hey, Molly, can you sit up? Yes, it was a good time, wasn't it, Molly? Did you have a good time in Nebraska? <coughs> yes, she had a good time in Nebraska, she said. So we, um, as I mentioned, we just got back. Now, last night, we had something very, very special happen. We Skyped with students from DLF Public School in India. Now, this is a picture that I took last night. Here, Molly, can you sit? Let's sit. Thank you. That I took just before we Skyped. If you look really, really close, there is a map of the world. Now, we are right here in Arkansas, and they were way over here in India. Lots and lots of miles, very long ways away, but we had a really good time. Now, another thing that we thought was interesting, didn't we, Molly? We thought this was very interesting. I went on to Google Maps, Molly and I did, and we looked up Arkansas, where we live, Clarksville, Arkansas. And if you look really close, there is the terrain of Arkansas. You can see it's really green. We also live in a very rural area, and what that means, boys and girls, is that we live in an area where there aren't many people. As a matter of fact, in the town we live in, there are about 8,800 people. And in the fire district that we belong to, the fire department that we belong to, there are only 2,800 people that live there. Our fire district covers 45 square miles. All right, so here is Arkansas, lots of forest, really green, lots of water. Houses are really spread apart. Now, if you look at where the boys and girls, where who we Skyped with last night, check out where they live. This is a part of India. This is where their school is, is right here. If you look really, really close, what do you see? Lots and lots of buildings, don't you? Well, when we looked at this, we were really surprised because there are lots and lots of buildings. Everything is very close together. And not only are there buildings, but they are several stories tall. So the boys and girls in India, many of them live in high-rise buildings. And what that means, boys and girls, is the buildings are more than one story tall. So we visited with them and shared fire safety tips about living in high rises and what to do in case of fire. We also had fun showing pictures of Molly and pictures of Arkansas. Here's a fun, here's a nice picture that we have. It shows a picture of what Arkansas is like. Here's another one. If you're not from Arkansas, you might enjoy looking at these pictures. We have many, many beautiful things here in our state. And let's see, what else, Molly? We showed them pictures of Molly. We did our fire safety program, like I mentioned. We talked about fire safety and how important it is to 
to uh, know what to do in case of fire. So it was a lot of fun. All right. Um, what else? Oh, before I forget to mention this, I would like Molly and I and the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation would like to thank firefighter Bo Hagar for the Little Rock Fire Department. Thank you so much, firefighter Bo. We appreciate you doing uh, the safety spot each week while we were gone. You helped us out more than you know, and we really do appreciate it. We had a lot of boys and girls watching while you were doing your show, and we hated them for to miss out just because we were gone. So we appreciate you doing our show for us. We really learned a lot. Uh, we learned about, boys and girls learned about spanner wrenches. They also learned about ropes. That was one of my favorite episodes, and you can actually find that on Molly's Facebook page. If you go to it, you can find the video. So many wonderful things that Firefighter Bo talked about. And you know what, boys and girls? Once we get settled back here, we are going to start doing some really cool fire safety shows with Firefighter Bo and the Little Rock Fire Department. We already have a lot of really cool things planned, don't we, Molly? So thank you, Firefighter Bo. We'd also like to thank, we'd like to thank uh, Division Chief Joseph Gray and Chief Chief Summers and everybody at the Little Rock Fire Department. Thank you so much for all that you did to um, to allow Firefighter Bo to carry on the show while we were gone. <laughs> so we really do appreciate it. All right. Now, let's see, what else would you like to talk about, Molly? What else would you like to talk about? I tell you what, Molly, it was really funny. Last night, it was 10 o'clock when we Skyped with the boys and girls from India, and it was 8.30 in the morning there. So, it was Thursday night here, it was 10 o'clock, it was dark. And it was 8.30 in, the, in India, and the boys and girls had just got to school, and they were starting their day. So we had a really good time. So let's get, what do you say we go ahead and share a fire safety tip? Would you like to do that, Molly? Would you like to share a fire safety tip? Would you? Would you like to share a safety tip? What do you say? Uh, what would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk about? And what else? What else would you like to talk about? What? Can you tell me? What would you like to talk about? <coughs> smoke alarms! That's right, Molly would like to talk about smoke alarms today. So, that is what we're going to do. First, let me give her a treat because she is being a really good dog. All right, this is a smoke alarm, boys and girls. We hope that all of you have a smoke alarm where you live. You should have a smoke alarm on each level of your home. So, if you have, um, well, first, let me say this. You wanna have a smoke alarm on each level of your home and outside each living, each sleeping area. So, if you have, let's see, let's see how smart you are. If you have, you live in a two-story house, would you want to have smoke alarms on the first floor and the second floor. If you said yes, you are correct. You are correct, that's very good. I think Molly wants to hold this for me. Can you hold this? She wants to hold it while I talk about smoke alarms. Okay, so, thank you Molly, that's very good. So, you wanna make sure you have one on each level of your home. What if you have three stories? Some boys and girls that might be watch watching might have three stories. So you would want to have smoke alarms on each level of your room. Now, you also remember when I said you want to have smoke alarms outside each sleeping area. So you want to have a smoke alarm outside your bedroom, outside the grown-ups bedroom, if you have younger brothers and sisters, a guest bedroom. Let's say, and we want to see, again, we want to see how smart you are. You have, um, let's say you have two levels, you have one bedroom downstairs, and you have three bedrooms upstairs. So, how many smoke alarms would you want to have? At least, the minimum, how many would you want to have? 
give me guess. Give me guess. Let me see if I can get Molly to count it out for me. Molly, how many would that be? Let's see if you can help me. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Count one. One. <laughs> one. Okay. Two. <laughs> okay. Three. Here we go. Three. <laughs> Okay, and four. Here we go. One more. Yay! Good job, Molly. That is right. You would want to have four smoke alarms in that case, in that instance. Now, you would really want to have more, but that is the minimum. And the minimum means, I know that's a really big word, you would want to have at least that many to help keep you and your family safe. Another important thing to remember is that when you hear the sound of the smoke alarm, you want to get down low, crawl low, and go to your outside meeting place. The smoke alarm is telling you to get out, get out. Molly, what's the smoke alarm telling you to do? What's the smoke alarm telling you to do? Can you tell the boys and girls? Yeah. What's it saying? What's it saying? <laughs> Get out! That's right! Good job, Molly. That is what the smoke alarm is telling you to do. So, we hope that you had a really good day, a really good time visiting us on Sparkle Safety Spot. Please tell your friends. We'd love to have more viewers each week. You can also find a recording of this video on Molly's Facebook page. We'll probably have that up a little bit later today. Molly's Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Molly, the fire safety dog. She would love to be your friend, wouldn't you, Molly? Look at that. I think she's kind of tired because she was up late Skyping. Are you tired? Are you tired, Molly? <laughs> we hope that everybody has a good day and that you stay safe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great day and be safe. Molly, can you wave at everybody? Here, let's wave. <laughs> she says goodbye. Can you wave? Good job. Bye, everybody. That's a good girl.